It's the third annual Bourbon Night Awards. And now, here are your hosts for the evening. From It's Bourbon Night, Chad and Sarah. Welcome to the third annual Bourbon Night Awards. As always, tonight we're celebrating excellence and achievement of bourbon, American rye, and for the first time, international whiskey. Don't get too excited, it's only one category. Just like the last two years, the results tonight are 100% crowdsourced. That's right, and, and to cover our, <laughs> cover our butts even more, even the nominations are crowdsourced. We get all of our nominations from our Patreon community. In fact, to kind of explain the ins and outs, our methodology of this whole thing, here's a disembodied voice reading off a sheet of paper. The winners of all categories, unless otherwise noted, were determined by the Bourbon Night YouTube community. Our Patreon community was first asked for nominations for each category. We combed through the nominations to find the five most nominated options. These five options were then presented to the YouTube community in a poll format, and the outcome of those polls determined the winners. Due to the filming of this episode, all polls and comments were considered closed as of 3 p.m. on Sunday, March 14th, 2020. All results are 100% crowdsourced. Let's hear the nominations for our first category. Here are the nominees for Best Value in American Whiskey of 2020. Wild Turkey 101. Elijah Craig, Barrel Proof. Evan Williams, Bottled in Bond. Early Times, Bottled in Bond. Wild Turkey, Rare Breed. And the winner is... I've got one of these in my glass right now, sir. Elijah Craig, Barrel Proof. So, wow, okay, <laughs> congratulations. Best value, interesting. This is a departure from how uh, value has been treated the past two years. Uh, if you kind of look at uh, 2018 and 2019's winners, Jim Beam, Repeal Batch, and Evan Williams, Bottled and Bond. Right, this is a very big jump. We've always, you know, banged the drum of value is what you get for it, not that it's under $20 or only $25. And I, f I think... People, they're starting to agree with us and like, mm -hmm. yes, what you get in a bottle of Elijah Craig Barrel Proof, because by the way, this is like the whole Elijah Craig Barrel Proof line, not singled out one particular release. Sure. Is really, really worth the money. The money. It's an incredible value. I see. And so that makes sense too as to why uh, Rare Breed was on here as well. But Rare Breed is in the $40 range and you yeah. you mean you get what you pay for. Absolutely. So I see where they're coming from and I can't say that I disagree. When I it... don't disagree either. Let's go to the comments. Carter Mayfield says, I love, love, love Wild Turkey Rare Breed, but 2020 was the year of Elijah Craig Barrel Proof. Every single release this year was on point. They had depth. They had complexity. They had power. I'd go with Elijah Craig Barrel Proof in 2020. And our good friend The Bourbon Wrench adds, while I might actually enjoy Elijah Craig Barrel Proof more, I think the fact that I can go to the store at any given time and get a bottle of Rare Breed is what gives it the edge to me. Plus, it's cheaper and still a hitter of a bottle. All, all good points. Rare. All, it's hard to argue with points. Rare Breed. Yeah, yeah. It, it, Valid is. Points it is. all around. But I mean, I can't deny that Elijah Craig Barrel Proof. No. no. Our next category is Best Limited Edition of 2020. And the nominees are Maker's Mark, SE4 PR5, George T. Stagg, Parker's Heritage Heavy Char Bourbon, Jack Daniels Single Barrel Special Release Barrel Proof Rye, Wild Turkey Master's Keep 17 Year Bottled and Bond Bourbon. And the bourbon night goes to... Jack Daniels Single Barrel Special Release Barrel Proof Rye. <laughs> the, wow. the, mouth, the mouthful. Getting 33% of the vote. Um, so a, a hefty win. A hefty win. Next, I mean, the closest was George T. Stagg at 23%. Mm, I find that surprising. But maybe yeah. more people have access to try the Jack Daniels oh, uh, yeah. versus, obviously, the George, so. the George T. Stagg. So that, that does make sense. It does. So 2018 was a George T. Stagg win. And then last year was a Four Roses Small Batch uh, Limited Edition. I guess this year we kind of opened it up more to American whiskey. Right. As yeah. opposed to just L.E. bourbon. Let's read some comments. Carter Mayfield says, I love the Jack Daniels Barrel Proof Rye and Wild Turkey Master's Keep. I chose Master's Keep because there are a lot of great barrel proof ryes on the market. There are not a lot of 17-year bourbons. I prefer it to the Eagle Rare 17 pour I had at a bar. Risky Behavior says, Voted for Jack Daniels Barrel Proof Rye. Wish I bought all the ones I saw on the shelf, but at least I got one. This was one of the best whiskeys I've ever tried. Definitely my number one of 2020. Up next is a new category for 2020, for us anyway, and that's Best International Whiskey. It's sort of like Best International Film, sure. but it's whiskey, so basically it's anything that isn't an American whiskey. And to help us out and pronounce all these names correctly is Roy from Aquavite. So, Roy. Thanks, Chad and Sarah. It's great to be here. Thanks for having me. The nominations for the Best International Whiskey of 2020 are Nika from the barrel, 
Ardbeg Black, Bunahaven, 12 year old, Red Breast 12 Cast Strength, and Ardbeg Ugadal. Thank you, Roy. And the winner is. Uh huh. You haven't, you haven't told me. I don't know. Oh. Yeah. That would have been a thing. That was I supposed to put that in the mail? I think I so. I was supposed to put that in the mail. Okay. Um, tell you what. Here's what we're going to do. And the winner is Red Breast 12 Cast Strength. Some comments about the Red Breast 12 Cast Strength are Adam Dorman says, I voted for Red Breast Cast Strength. It's very good but Red Breast 27 is some of the best whiskey I've ever had. Just aren't enough people who have tried it for to make the poll. It is also cast strength. Tony Adamitis says Red Breast 12 cast strength is a quintessential Irish whiskey turned up a notch. What's not to love? And Jeremy Denton says Red Breast 12 cast strength and it's not even close. And Carter Mayfield says I'm not surprised to see Red Breast cast strength do so well. It's the most bourbony of all the selections. The proof point is right and it's so good. Also available and affordable for what it is. American distilleries could learn a thing or two from the Irish. Roy, what do you think about uh, the winner of this category? Single pot style Irish whiskey is one of my favourite styles of whiskey generally and I have to say that uh, 12 cast strength from Red Breast is probably one of the best examples of its style. I think it's a deserved winner. All right, well, thank you, Roy. If you are not subscribed to Aqua Vitae, please go do so over there on his channel. It is well worth your while. Go give him a subscribe. Yes. Our next category is Best Barrel Proof Bourbon of mm. 2020. Mm. And the nominees are... Stag Jr., Batch 14. Elijah Craig, C920. Booker's 202001, Granny's Batch. Elijah Craig, B520. Stag Jr., Batch 15. That was a lot of uh, Heaven Hill and Buffalo Trace with just a sprinkle of Jim Beam in there. A little bit, they yes. Like, they like those, don't they? Yes, they do. You want to tell us the winner, sure. Chad? Sure. And the bourbon I goes to... Elijah Craig B520. Wow, got a lot of uh, Elijah Craig Barrel Proof fans out there. Yeah, it's a value, and it's the best barrel proof. Wow. I, I, I believe it. Now, what's interesting, Sarah, is that was 33% of the vote. Second place with 30% is C920. Then you have Stag Jr. 14 with 14%. Stag Jr. 15 with 14%. And then Booker's only getting nine. So that means 91% of the vote was either an Elijah Craig or a, or Stag, a Stag Jr. So a Heaven Hill or a Buffalo Trace. Honestly, though, that doesn't surprise me. I mean, all very quality products in our opinion as yeah, well. I, I'd have yeah. to agree with that one. Um, Jeffrey Nolner says, I embrace the majesty of the B520. And Brennan says, I love how consistently awesome Elijah Craig Barrel Proof is. Great bourbon with an awesome 12-year age statement. Each batch is different, and some are definitely better than others, but they are all still very good. C919 was next level. Next category up is Most Divisive American Whiskey of 2020. Mm. Now, this is a divisive <laughs> topic. Is it a divisive topic? It's, it's, it's kind of it's it's divisive. It might be. Yeah. yeah. And the nominees are... Wild Turkey, Master's Keep, 17-year, bottled in bond. Elijah Craig, Toasted Barrel. Old Tub, Bourbon Whiskey. Booker's, 202001, Granny's Batch. Elijah Craig, 18-year. Sarah, I want to know who put our beloved 202001 Booker's Granny's Batch as a most divisive. Well, I guess divisive, you know, means half of them love them, half of them it don't. But. It hurts a little, but it is very peanut buttery. So that's either for people or not for people. But you know what? I have to agree with my my personal vote would have gone uh, to that wild turkey. Yeah, I know. Master's Keep. Yeah, and... yeah. The Bourbon Night goes to Old Tub. Old Tub. Old Tub. Old Tub. We just happen to have one right off wow. camera. Here, here you go. Here you go. You won. I find that a little surprising, and the reason is because it is a val like I would call it a value. It's an inexpensive bottle, so I can't see that many people trying it and getting that upset if they're not super into it. And also, I think your expectations are a bit lower because it's a more affordable price point versus like yeah. that Wild Turkey Masters Keep bottled and bond is is like that's over a hundred bucks. Well, you know, and and we we've seen it uh, here in here in the comments, for instance, Todd Koopa said, I personally love Old Tub and think it's a fantastic bourbon and a great value, but I've also read lots of comments on it being overrated, and one friend said, undrinkable, which we replied, then they aren't your friend, Todd. 
William Anderson said, I voted for Old Tub. I found it to be exactly what it should be. Affordable, available, and delicious. I was worried that the hype train would get this one, but thankfully, enough people seem to think it sucks. Hashtag nutty in more ways than one. I pick Old Tub for this category because I feel after talking to people about it, it really is split fairly 50-50 in this love-hate relationship. I personally don't care for it much, but I've had people tell me it's the best $20 bourbon out there, and it wasn't meant to be any better, but it was. I would personally spend my $20 on a Four Roses single barrel or an OGD BIB if I had to stay in that price range. First of all, where is he getting Four Roses single barrel for $20? I know. I, I, I want to know that. Pack your bags. We're moving there. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> says it right there in, in those comments, like, you either love it or you hate it. But again, True. as you said, for $20, can you be that upset about it? I don't they know. They must really hate they it. They must really hate it if they hate it that much. Sheesh. Okay. Oof, don't be on their bad list. Yeah. All right. Let's move on to the next category. This is always a fun category. The most exciting release that you didn't get to buy of 2020. Yeah. And the nominees are... Stag Jr., Jack Daniels Single Barrel Barrel Proof Rye, E.H. Taylor Barrel Proof, William LaRue Weller, Sazerac 18 Year Rye. Chad, four out of five of those are Buffalo Trace. Huh. Which, hmm, hmm people can't buy Buffalo Trace? This hmm. is news to me. Someone get the press on the phone. I don't think they know. I need to make a statement. <laughs> okay, and the winner is, I bet you it's Buffalo Trace. I mean, the odds are in its favor. William LaRue Weller. It is. Uh, not only is it a Buffalo Trace, it's from the famed BTAC Buffalo Trace Antique Collection. That got 35% of the vote. Shocker, last year was also a, uh, a B-Trace product, Weller Foolproof. Wow. Second place, E.H. Taylor Barrel Proof. Stag Jr. tied, actually, for second place, 22% of that vote. Will says, I got plenty of Stag Jr. last year, but wish I could have gotten the E.H. Taylor Barrel Proof, William Lure Weller, and Jack Daniels Rye. Plenty of stag. We, we didn't get plenty of stag last year. That, yeah. This uh, sounds like a good problem. Yeah, to okay. Have. Bourbon and a baby. I love that movie. Said, I've been on the hunt for WLWs ever since having a pour of the 2018 release, and it was one of the best bourbons I had ever tasted. Carter Mayfield says, I tried WLW 2020 at a bar last week, and my heart sank. I was hoping I would hate it. Easily the best pour of last year, and maybe my life. I went back for another pour a couple days ago, and someone had bought the rest of the bottle. Double curses. I have to agree that that was, I mean, for me, like heart, mm -hmm. heart's fries mm -hmm. last year. I also didn't realize we picked so many Carter Mayfield uh, uh, comments. I guess he's just a good commenter. He just likes he's to just comment. A, it's a good commenter, so good job, Carter. Uh, okay. <laughs> uh, this episode sponsored by Carter Mayfield. Carter. Go Carter. on down to Carter Mayfield's and get you some comments. <laughs> You want comments? I'm Carter Mayfield. Come we on down. We got your comments. Well, speaking, Sarah, of being sponsored by, uh, I guess technically we are sponsored by WhiskeyAmbitions.com. It's our home on the internet where you can get, oh, look, it's the Copitas now back in stock. Glenn Carrad's rocks glasses, t-shirts, and hoodies that neither one of us are wearing right now because we're all we're being dressed fancy. up. And so much more. Always coming soon. That's WhiskeyAmbitions.com. You can become a patron at Patreon.com slash It's Bourbon Night. And for as little as one buck a month, you can help us form these lists next year. Uh, we do polls throughout the year that are a lot of fun, but this these polls originated with our Patreon community, and mm -hmm. then we took the top five and migrated them over to YouTube to get our final answers. But you also get first crack at barrel picks, events, and so much more. That is correct. All right, let's keep this train on the tracks with the next category. Next up is a new category for 2020, or what do we call it? 2021? 2020? For, for 2020. This, for this year, the third annual. Uh, it's uh, what was not worth the chase anymore in 2020. And the nominees are... Blanton's, in general, any expression. Old Forester Birthday Bourbon. Buffalo Trace Antique Collection, any of them. Weller, any expression. The Van Winkle Line, from Rip 10 up to Pappy 23. Well, again, we're seeing uh, four out of five, most of the Buffalo <laughs> Trace, so. so. People have some strong opinions they about do. this distillery. They have some feelings, some I don't thoughts. think we've heard the last of it either. Oh, I don't think so. Okay. But the winner for this year is. Mm -hmm. Blanton's, in general, any expression. <laughs> we have a bottle written nearby. I'm just going to give the bourbonite to the bottle. Here you go. Now, Chad, I don't know if I can fairly weigh in on this one. I, I don't know if that would have been what I chose because I just, it's really not in my wheelhouse as far as like my everyday drinker. I mean, there's ways to get it. It takes effort. It does take some has, effort. Who has time for effort? Right, who anymore? has time for effort? Oh, you know who I oh. bet doesn't? The commenters. Let's hear from them. Okay. Charles points out, you left off the all of the above tab. Kevin adds, if only I could find one to see if they're worth the hype. Aw. 
Todd says, I voted Blanton's because it's a decent pour, but nowhere near great, and it's ridiculously hard to find unless you're willing to pay three to four times retail. No, thank you. No, I know. I'm sure not. But I can see it. You know, Blanton's, especially now that they've opened up the line to the gold and the straight from the barrel being here in the U.S., I know of very, very few people that actually got that yeah. here. So I can understand that frustration. A little bit of frustration there. Mm -hmm, for for sure. sure. All right. Okay. Let's go to our next category. Next is one of my favorite categories. And coincidentally, it's the only category that's open to our Patreon community only. That is correct. This is the best It's Bourbon Night episode of 2020. Ooh, all right, let's get into it. And the nominees are... Buffalo Trace Antique Collection 2020, all five whiskeys reviewed. Eight bourbons and rye's perfect for the fall. The truth about bookers. Uncorking 2020 03 pigskin batch. We answer your questions. Plus, Weller Foolproof Uncorking, 50K Celebration. Blind matching, 12 Jim Beam whiskeys. Well, I'll tell you what what wouldn't have gotten my vote, Chad, was uh, that... Uh, Jim Beam. The Jim Beam episode. 12 whiskeys. I have never done finished an episode of filming and thought, I'm going to go be sick now. I want to retire. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It was rough recovery from that one. So if you haven't seen it, that's it was the flavored Jim Beam stuff. So, uh, okay, uh, and... The Bourbonite goes to BTAC 2020, all five whiskeys reviewed. <laughs> wow, you guys really love Buffalo Trace. Well, but that episode was a lot of fun to make. It was a lot of fun. Uh, and, and we'll get some great reasons. Time tasting them. Yes, well, we'll get to those reasons here in, in the comments. But also, we just had this pretty cool idea for the intro, and a lot of people called out that that was the best intro that we've done uh, in 2020. And I have to agree. Which makes our hearts warm. Yes, you know. Um, so yeah, let's just uh, let's read some comments about it. Tim says, "BTAC, since they're so rare to try all together." That is true. Anthony says, "The correct answer is BTAC 2020. The intro, Chef's Kiss." And Chris adds, BTAC 2020, best line ever in a video. Let's not, <laughs> let's not revisit that. And play okay. the clip. It's not every day that you have an 18 year old. Wow, that sounded horrible. Cut that out, please cut that out, please. <laughs> you guys think you're so cute. Oh, I should say, here you go, Sarah. His, his sword's a little loose, but congratulations. That's what she said? Yes, his sword's a little loose. All oh, my ladies out there. All right, Sarah, we're getting to that point of the evening, the last three categories. Ooh, very exciting. Yes, best for last here. So this is Best Distillery in 2020. And the nominees are... Heaven Hill, Bardstown Bourbon Company, MGP, Wilderness Trail, Buffalo Trace. And the bourbon I goes to... Buffalo Trace Distillery. <laughs> Should this just be the Buffalo Trace Awards? Should we just rebrand the Buffalo Trace Awards? Well, they won last year. They won this year. If they win next year, I think we should just be the best distillery of the year, quote, you know, uh, uh, parentheses, Buffalo Trace. <laughs> right. Uh, I mean, okay, so it won with 32%, a pretty close second, Bardstown Bourbon Company with 27%. Uh -huh. And now... If it had been up to me, if I could have swayed the votes yet, I didn't, but I, if I could have, that's what I would have picked because they keep coming out with new releases. They're kind of pushing the boundaries, doing yeah. a lot of blending themselves, doing a lot of aging in different barrels. That Armagnac yes. bottle, uh, the Chateau Labaud from last year, yes. was one of the best things yes. that I've ever had. And it's what's, what's also you know impressive, Sarah, is they don't have as wide of a reach as Buffalo Trace, and they still came and in, still came in that really close, close to second. So. I have a feeling they might they might take they could take the lead next that's year. That's who that's who to watch out for. Right. So don't get us wrong, we love Buffalo Trace. Huge fans of that distillery. Uh, historic, great products. But, but this category looking at the year specifically. Yeah. Right? Well let's see what the comments said. Charlie Miller says, and this is sort of a long comment, so here's the gist of it. Heaven Hill was his vote because they have Elijah Craig Barrel Proof, which is one of the best bourbons that money can buy. Evan Williams Bottled and Bond, which is cheap and available. And then they uh, they cover the European market well. And at the opposite end of the spectrum, we've got James Coleman here with a very short comment. Hashtag anyone but BT, meaning Buffalo Trace. Neither of them were, were pro well, Buffalo Trace. You know what? And that is, that's not because we decided to leave out those comments. No one said, I voted for Buffalo Trace and this is why. It's crowdsourced. It is crowdsourced. <laughs> you all get the say, not so, me. So, congratulations, Buffalo Trace. Second year in a row. 
Known as Dr. No because of his laser focus on quality and his refusal to say yes to the release of a whiskey until it was absolutely perfect, Willie Pratt had over 50 years of experience in the industry. Willie was born in 1942 in the town of Hazard, Kentucky. As an adult, he came to work for Brown Foreman, where they paid his way through college at the University of Louisville. Willie would spend over 40 years working for the company in a variety of roles, including serving on a committee that studied distillation, cooperage, and aging conditions. At the age of 65, Pratt retired from Brown Foreman, only to get back into the business in 2007 when he joined Michter's as their master distiller. At the time, he oversaw the off-site production of Michter's sourced whiskey and later the building of their own Shively distillery. After a while, it was time for Pratt to step back from his full-time role, but he remained as Michter's master distiller emeritus up until his death in December of 2020. Cheers to you, sir. You will be missed. Our next category is Best American Rye. Best American Rye. I feel like this is our best supporting character in, right? in our world. Best supporting actor. We're very bourbon focused here. Sure, but we do love a good rye. Yeah, so. abs absolutely. So. The nominees are. Yes. Kentucky Owl Rye, batch number four. Rare Breed Rye. Jack Daniels Single Barrel Barrel Proof Rye. Wilderness Trail Barrel Proof Rye. And Pikesville Rye. Ooh, we got some good nominees in this yes, one. Yes, we do. And is it a, from a lot of Pikesville. No, I mean no. It's fine. We didn't get to do any of this, so we can have our <laughs> we can have our preferences. A lot of votes on this one too. Uh, Fifteen hundred votes. Wow. A lot of opinions out there. And the bourbonite goes to Jack Daniel's Single Barrel 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 Proof Rye. Wow. It's a long name. It's, it's hard a mouthful. To say. Uh, yeah. 40... And apparently, it's a delicious mouthful. Uh, yeah, I don't know. We haven't had it. 41%, Sarah. That is a whopping it's win. Whopping. It's a whopper. 41%. It's a whale of a win. Second place, Pikesville. Second place, Pikesville. 26%. Yay. So now, I do like all of those. I do have to say yeah. there isn't anyone in this category that I'm actually not a fan of. So I'm happy to see them all here. Well, well except for the Jack Daniels, which I haven't tried. But we... we we trust you guys, and we but will man, have it. We all like we it. We will have it shortly. Uh, yeah, 2018 was Knob Creek. Uh, last year was the Old Forester Rye, you know, Value Rye, and now we here here have this. Uh, now we here have this Jack. Now Daniels. we here have this Jack Daniels. Round form in two years in a row. True that. Look at that. True Maybe they know their rise. That well, let's get into some comments. Well, here's three comments in a row, all for the same, and actually it's for what came in number two. Pikesville, availability, haven't seen the others around here, hard to beat Pikesville rye, good value bourbon, well, it tastes like a bourbon, but technically it's a rye, but we, we know what you mean, James. And then Shelf Turd saying, excited to see Pikesville do this well. Birdhouse BMX says, truly can't believe Thomas H. Handy didn't make this list. I'd have to say it's between Jack Daniels Barrel Proof Rye and Thomas H. Handy to me. For more brash, bold whiskey, Jack Daniels takes the cake. But I will say it drinks more like a high rye bourbon than a rye. If we're talking finesse and nuance, Thomas H. Handy by a mile. And again, much like the Buffalo Trace comments, there just wasn't a whole lot Not of a whole lot. Jack Daniels comments. So we weren't just like, well, we'll show them. Well, we'll show something else instead. <laughs> no, no, it's just uh, a very voted upon uh, winner. But uh, I mean, we commented. gave you the best uh, comments in support of, uh, of of Jack Daniels. So. And that's all we can do. And that's that's really all, so, all we can do. Congratulations again. Oh, I almost broke the sword. <laughs> to Jack Daniels. Okay, Sarah, it's... It's that time it's of the night. the big event time. This is a new category. It used to be we ended the show with Best Rye mm -hmm. because we do our own Best Bourbon, and we're like, well, that's our, it's, that's our, out there. It's the word. It's, it's the word. Period. But we're like, why? This is all crowdsourced. We should crowdsource Let's ask Best them. Bourbon of 2020. And the nominees are... George T. Stagg, Bargetown Bourbon Company, Discovery Series, number three. Knob Creek 12 Year, 100 Proof. Stag Junior, Batch 15. Maker's Mark, SE4, PR5. And the winner is. Oh boy. And this one got another 1,500 votes, so yes. very voted upon. Knob Creek 12 Year, 100 Proof. Wow. Not a bottle below trace. Look at that. Okay. I mean, I do, I do really like that Knob Creek 12 Year. It, it is, is really good. good. It's really good. It's really solid. I'm shocked that got. Now this one was a little bit closer. We had three pretty big front runners mm -hmm. closely following and tied for second is the George T. Stag and the Bardstown Bourbon Company Discovery Number Three. 
Um, and the SAG Junior. And wow, the SAG Junior also. I didn't even look at that. A three way <laughs> tie for 2020. second. 2020. Two Buffalo Traces duking it out for wow. second, plus Bardstown's in there too. I do and then that poor old Makers. <laughs> poor Makers. You got 13%. But oh, that's all right. It is quality stuff. Um, yeah. hmm. Honestly, I like all these, so I think this is a great list. I'm really proud with what, what everyone came up with. Patrons. Good job. Good job. Yeah. Yay. <laughs> and the crowd. And the crowd goes wild. The crowd goes wild. Well, congratulations, Knob Creek 12-year, for bringing home the most prestigious award of the evening, the best bourbon of 2020. Adriana says, Knob Creek 12 is delicious, affordable, and available. Plus, it holds a special place for me now as my celebration whiskey, which I used for finishing my PhD during a pandemic and then starting a new job. Congratulations. Cody adds, Knob 12 is the best value of 2020 based on price, $54.99. Availability and overall quality. Best Bourbon is discovery number three on the list. And Risky Behavior says, Knob Creek 12 year for sure. Wasn't a fan of the Bardstown release like you and others were. Fair enough. Uh, yeah. To each his own. I mean, we were fans. I'll yeah. take the discovery. Most and... divisive? No. <laughs> not quite, not quite, not quite. All right, well, Sarah, we got a lot of after parties to get to on Zoom. I don't know about you, but this is the longest <laughs> I've worn a dress in a year, so... Me too. It's time for a costume change. Yeah, uh, back to sweatpants, then. Back to sweatpants. Yeah. Yes. All right, well, thanks so much for joining us for our third annual Bourbon Night Awards. If you have any suggestions for uh, new categories we should tackle next year, just let us know down in the comments below. And if it's your first time joining us, maybe you haven't subscribed to us already, you can do so by clicking right up here. There's suggestions of other videos right down here, and we hope to see you over there in one of those. Thanks, Sarah. Thanks, Chad. Okay, until next year, drink more bourbon. Mm -hmm.